Hello again. So, uh, anyone just want to go to the U2 concert? Cut this thing short? Let's go. She won't mind. You mind? She doesn't mind. She doesn't mind, I swear. So for those who don't know me, my name is Alex Maybe. That's what it says right there. I'm the best man and best friend of David Fraser. If by now you don't know who Dave Fraser is, you might want to stop going to the bar. Just um, I'd like to just start by saying that it takes a strong and intelligent man to realize his dreams and achieve his goals in life and in love. A man that is not afraid to live life to its fullest and embrace what is truly important to him. But enough about me, I want to talk about Dave and Amber today. I, uh, I met Dave back in high school uh, about six years ago. I know uh, Dave just as well as anyone here. Um, from knowing Dave, I can honestly tell you, if I hadn't met Dave six years ago, I wouldn't be half the man I am today, and I'd probably have twice as many friends. Um, through, from, through my friendship with Dave, uh, I met the lovely and beautiful Amber. I am. You know how you do? You got married today. It's great. Congratulations. I'll talk. I'm busy. I'll talk to you after. Um, she's more than just a pretty face. Uh, she's, she's kind. She's sweet. Uh, she's very well deserving of a great husband. And thankfully, Dave found her before she found that guy. <laughs> Just kidding, he's a great guy. So. <laughs> um, as every best man does, I waited the very last minute uh, to complete this speech. Uh, so about 20 minutes ago, I went up to Dave's uh, closest friends and family and asked for some words that best describe Dave. Um, a, a, a friend said, great, a great friend, Karen, thoughtful, tasting, charismatic, and that was just to name a few. I barely found a person that actually could say a bad thing about him. However, there were a few. Um, when I heard belligerent, lazy, stubborn, I figured that's a bit rough for a best man speech, but it's not entirely untrue, and if his mom doesn't know who does, right? Anyways, I'm not going to keep you here for too much longer because obviously everyone's anxiously waiting to see Dave's dance skills. Um, so at this time, I'd like to pose a toast to the newlyweds. So could you please join me and stand up? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to invite you to raise your glasses and toast to the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Dave Fraser. May all their ups and downs happen between the sheets. I love you guys, and I wish nothing but the best. So uh, what I'd like to go and do now is just uh, pass the uh, mic over to Carrie. Um, she's going to sing a rendition of God Bless America. And, uh, Dave has one of Amber's shoes, and I ask a question, and they put up who they think is well the question I'm going to ask. You'll see a little bit when I give an example, i.e. Who is the biggest flirt? <laughs> Amber, obviously, for both. Who made the first move? <laughs> Pretty indecisive. Who said I love you first? Oh. <laughs> you guys got some talking to do. This can be an interesting one. Who has the wackiest family? I, I didn't say who had the wackiest mom, I said who had the wackiest family. Sorry, can I? No, I love you. Who is in control of the checkbook? I can see these answers changing, maybe in a month's time after they're married. Who was the first person to ca pass gas in front of each other? I'm not surprised for some reason, but I don't know why. Who's the, who's the best kisser? You guys know you have each other's shoes, right? most likely to get lost? <laughs> Yay, an answer that's actually similar. Who is always right? <laughs> He's 
got this marriage thing down pat. Down pat. Good answer, Dave. <laughs> like father, like son. <laughs> Who's the first one to make up after a fight? <laughs> Let's be honest, though, they're the perfect couple. They never fight. Uh, who spends more money? <laughs> Again, not a surprising answer. And finally, who do you love most in the whole wide world? Don't screw this up. <laughs> oh, now kiss in front of everyone right now. 